reviewing Ancient Mage's Bride, finally. The review everyone's been waiting for. Finally. Finally. Yes. Uh, if you've been paying attention over the many, many years that we've been doing this podcast, you might have a good inclination as to one of us, whether or not we like this show, but we need to find out what the other two of us who have not seen it think. Uh, well, I think we should guess what we all thought of it. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. I was thinking the same thing. Whoa. Yeah. Why don't we? We take were a all quick... thinking the same thing. <laughs> let's take a quick hot minute here, guys. Extra spicy. Yeah. And let's yeah. say what each other thinks of this show. Okay. Without using the word uh, apprehension. Easily. Yes, Easily. I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, was, I, I was am disappointed that like. I was disappointed that you used a word that I am so. You use it a lot. It's just... I use that word so often, so I'm really going to have to think about it. Okay, I'll add a second word that you can't use okay. Oshi. <laughs> I'll add one. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll add one. Co. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. You Can't know, it's funny. It. It's funny. Uh, I I said before we started recording, I'm like, Jay, you're not allowed to talk about Oshinoko. You just That's did it. Rule. Cole, three words at once. And we've spent probably a collective <laughs> 10 minutes talking about this show at my prompt. I know. <laughs> Cole, was, here's the thing. It was me. <laughs> here's the thing. You should know better. You should know, know. better. You should know. I know. That, yeah. Listen. Listen, there's something fundam fundamentally wrong with us. Yeah. And me. Especially all of us. But yeah. anyway, Cole, what do you think me and Jay thought of this show? Um, I'm just going to go out on a limb. No, no, no. My, my, uh, my hint is going to give away what I thought of it. So can we start with somebody else? Okay. Or my, my Mike, start. Gonna, okay, okay, I'll no, go. no, no, no. Mike, start. I started the last I one. I think that Cole loves this show. I think that he, he thinks it's more or less a perfect show. It's an interesting take. Hmm. I, I think Jay, partially due to the way he consumed it, which is all at once in like an eight hour stretch. <laughs> Everything, everywhere, all at once. Probably thinks it's okay, but maybe couldn't quite get into it. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jay, what do you think? I think Cole thinks the show's a nine out of ten. Huh. Interesting. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, and Mike, I don't think he liked it as much as Cole does, but he definitely did really like it. Mm hmm. Okay. It's mm -hmm. an interesting take. Okay. Interesting. Uh, my take would be, and maybe this is a hot take because Jay is usually a wild card, but I'm going to just go out on a limb and say, uh, I believe this show will receive universal praise from the three of us. Ooh. I'm at. I have some apprehension in stating that. Oh, <laughs> I said the wrong word. I thought and, I thought and. that that was intentional. Honestly, no, of I course it was. Yeah, no, I think too, you. Uh, I think uh, you yeah. also have to bleep yeah. out your swear word there. Yeah, Mike. I yeah. know. He yeah, also I said know. Oshinoko. He also said Oshinoko. <laughs> I should censor out every. <laughs> Out every time we say Oshinoko. Yeah. <laughs> so it just looks like we're swearing and then yeah. and then we're just like, man, it's so good. Yeah. Bleep is so good. Universal um, praise though, eh? I think yeah. yeah, I think it'll like not like universal like this is the best. I mean like we all liked it. I think. Yeah. I think that's what okay. I say. Okay. Uh so I'll I'll just start with revealing my thoughts. Uh what am I revealing here? I love I love this show. I liked it. I liked it. Go figure. Yeah. Uh, Jay, what? Who who started? Jay. Mike. Was it Jay? Mike. Uh, Jay. Mike. Mike. <laughs> Jay. Hi. Mike. I'm Mike. Uh, I, Hi, Mike. I also like this show. I don't know if it was. I don't think I can quite say it was a perfect show in any any way, but it was good. It's worth watching mm. for sure. Mm. That's that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I I liked it. I did. I can't really say I loved it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like yeah, love I mean, is strong, but I, I I would say really liked is is apt. Lo I think <laughs> what 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 takes something from liking to loving it is just the the content of it. Like yeah. that is just a, a personal personal thing. Love is a a non like it, it's it's a what's the word I'm looking for? It's not objective. Mm -hmm. It's subjective. Subject. Yeah. yeah. Being good is 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 objective. And I think the show is objectively good. I'd say, yeah. Spoilers. I'd say, yeah, I'd say, I, I'd say that's not. 
I'd say it's good. I wouldn't say it's great. Yeah. I, it definitely okay. has enough things that you can point at and say this is a reason why this show isn't great. Like, the one thing everyone oh. points to is kind of the pacing of the, yeah. Each ep- yeah. the, of the show as a whole. And then of each episode as well are two things you could talk about for sure. So so the the thing I was going to say is like it feels kind of like a an interesting package with like a very slow um uh um Roll center out? I guess yeah okay I see what you're saying it's a I bit think, hollow inside. I th- I think what, uh, like, people say, like, oh, the pacing's kind of weird and stuff. They've got a lot of world building that they have to do in this show. Yeah. They've got to stop. I, I understand that. They've got to um, stop and explain, like, how mm-hmm. how mages are different from sorcerers. From sorcerers and, and how, how, mag- how magic works, how everything works. How magic works. works and, how, and how mages, like, basically ask fairies to help yeah. them do magic. Like, yeah. that's what they do. I, I get what you're saying, Cole. But just mm-hmm. because you have to do something doesn't mean it's like it doesn't make it the right thing or the perfect thing, right? No, 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 no. And but I'm, I'm, I'm just saying I think that's I that's agree. what leads to the slow yeah, pace. Yeah, no, that's is, what is, that's is, what it's... leads to it. Absolutely. I yeah. And it, I I don't think that like there was anything that could have been done to make it better no, I mean, because no, it kind of set I, itself I'll, up for it. I'll listen. I'll listen to people say like. There, there are things to. It's got the same issue for me as, as like something like Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jujutsu Kaisen spends a lot, a lot of time. Oh, and explaining how everything works. Yeah, yeah. and the, the show's exposition honestly is why I don't really like Jujutsu Kaisen because like kind of why I dropped the manga as well. Yeah, but Jujutsu Kaisen also has action. Yeah, like crazy action. So it, so it, this yeah. show doesn't the, really like so it's, it's like one, blah 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 yeah, blah blah. There is she one says thing, in danger. <laughs> yeah, there is one thing uh, that's put into that comes into the show from time to time that makes it like much better, and I'll get into that in spoiler. Uh, yeah, our spoiler time. What I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> the show basically comes down. It. Yeah, the yeah. show comes down to this. Uh, blah 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 blah. Chizé's in danger. Blah 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 blah. Uh, uh, Elias, Elias saves her. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. That's the show, and it, like when Elias sa- when Elias saves her, it's really cool. Yeah. yeah. But it it only lasts like two seconds. <laughs> and the cool part too is like the real a I'd call it the B plot, like the small B plot of the show mm-hmm. that happens over and over. But like the A plot is definitely Chise getting over her like trauma, right? Which yeah. Is, that's the real reason you're watching this show is to watch someone yeah. deal with and get over their trauma. Well, the whole the whole thing of the show, and uh, maybe this is a good point, Mike. Do you still have those reviews up that we were we were talking about before? Uh, There's one review yes, specifically. Uh, if if you could just read the review, uh, I think it was the last one you read. Okay, uh, I went to Annie List and just kind of pulled up the reviews, and I think I think this might be a good thing to start doing going forward. If we remember, we won't remember. We won't uh, remember. This review comes from Annie List, and it is. Uma verdiera obra prima. <laughs> not and I think one. you wanted to talk about that. Oh, that's not the one you wanted to talk not about? Not that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think probably the most apt one here, and maybe the one you're talking about, is a truly enchanting journey to lose yourself in if you can work around its pacing problems and other inconsistencies. Is that the one you no, wanted? No, 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 no. Uh, interesting, interesting one. Oh, I, uh, it, was it an interesting it was, premise, it about... but fails to really do much with it and ends up being just being a plain and bland show? Is that the one? No, it's the one about the characters, Mike. Is the it one about the characters? I remember. I remember reading one where they talked oh. about how she teaches him to be more human. He teaches her to be a mage. Yeah, that's kind mm-hmm. of the premise, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, great visu- visuals and soundtrack characterization could do with some improvements and a lackluster ending. The lackluster am... ending, to be fair, is like because it's not done. Yeah, the yeah, it's not done. Still, still I, done. I am curious to know what you guys thought of uh, characterizations in this. Because uh, I think that's this show's strongest point. Jay, do you want to go first? Yeah, um, so I I did read a couple reviews before just to like see what other people thought of it. I always I always mm-hmm. like to do the same thing because I kinda yeah. it puts mm-hmm. ideas in my head and also lets me think of things new things based on what they've um, said. Um yeah. and like mm. I, I remember reading a lot of people saying that like the characters were very flat and the characters were like they all felt the same, but like I never really got that. I didn't um, either. Uh, like I think I honestly think that there's two there's two things that are borderline perfect in the show. A the OST. 
Oh, the OST is phenomenal. The Which OST is, is incredible. Because yeah. I saw quite a few people, I saw like mixed reviews on the OST, but like, I thought it was great. Yeah. It was it, like, honestly, like the, the like main theme. Yeah. Like whenever some, mm. like whenever there's like a sting, it uses yeah. that like same theme and it's yeah. so good. Like it's you never so hear good. anime do yeah. that. And the fact like it uses like cool, like Celtic sounding yeah. music and yeah. stuff. Like it's just really cool. Uh, but the characters in the show, I think are terrific specifically yeah. the two leads like yeah. elias and she say i, I are... think i think the reason why someone might think that the characters are not great is because they're they do have a little bit of like if you look at them ultra big picture they kind of are samey like ultra ultra big picture i'm talking like what do they do okay they meet she say they mm-hmm. help her deal with something yeah they start off as kind of maybe a morally questionable character and then they end up being a good guy in the end and they help Chise. That's kind of like the thing that they all do, but they're all unique and interesting enough on their own as people mm-hmm. that it's, I think it we'll, kind of plays off it. I think, yeah, I think we'll be able to dive into this more like post spoilers, but I just like I, the, the relationships and stuff in the show are like some of the most complex, interesting, like dynamics, especially between Chise and, and uh, Elias, Elias. Like it's so you don't see shows do that, and I think yeah. it's it, it's really cool. But I think another thing that the show does really well is uh, its first OP. Oh, yes. its first o- so its first OP is very very good. I probably <laughs> wouldn't listen to it outside of the show. I really like the first OP. It's got um, like a cool like Latin feel. Yeah, it's yeah, like, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. What like what I'm saying is mm-hmm. like it, it really did fit the show really well Mm -hmm. um but Mm -hmm. i probably wouldn't listen to it in a vacuum yeah Yeah, i mean that's that's personal yeah that's personal taste yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. uh but the the first op is definitely much more interesting like the use of colors and Mm -hmm. like the opening shots of her like where she's i love that shot where she's like on her own and there's like this colored line and it like does a really good job of like showing her isolation Mm-hmm. And, and it, it almost looks like an interpretive dance. Like yeah. it's it's really cool. Yeah. It kind and of is the, an interpretive it, dance, it, yeah, really. Pretty much is. The the first OP doesn't fall into the trap that the second OP does, which is the second OP is a huge letdown. Yeah. Really? I thought this it was is the okay. first time. This is the first time we've done a, a show with two OPs. I know. This is exciting. Yeah, the second OP is basically just clips from the show. The first OP also has clips from the show, to be fair. It's got a few, but, it has but it's... More, it... it has more original stuff to mm-hmm. set it out from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, incidentally, the new OP for it is also a banger, like for season two. Like for oh, season two? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Um, yeah, no, the second OP is skippable for me yeah i, I mean i literally I did liked. skip it all the time because well, i was just trying to rush through the show <laughs> yeah well yeah that's incidental uh to to your uh time management yeah yeah <laughs> yes to be yeah. clear to the listeners we're ragging on jay because we give each other a month to watch each of these shows that we review <laughs> to be clear in addition to a month of 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 uh, allowable time for him to watch it i've also been bugging him for two weeks to watch it <laughs> Cole, remember how I but, bugged you to watch Oshinoko and you didn't? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. But here you we bugging are. Here you we to are. Watch Ancient Magus Bride uh, had the same effect on me. Th- there's here a we fundamental are. difference, though. One of them is uh, you're contractually obligated to watch. <laughs> yes. You signed your remember contract. Remember when we, we cut each other's palms with that knife and we all lick each other's, <laughs> like, lick the blood off each other's palms and then kissed? That's. <laughs> That's the contract. Wait, Where I don't think I was there when you guys. You had one too many beers. Okay. Um, yeah, the op op one is great. I think. Mm-hmm. I think it's great. I even really like the song. It went right onto my uh, playlist. See, uh, when I, it, I'm gonna have to politely uh, push back on you, Cole. I liked OP one, but I think I liked OP two better, just because it has a little more like dynamics to it. It's a little more interesting to look at. Whereas mm. you like you are a sucker for a black screen with a bunch with like a solo character and then a bunch of colors. Where yes. and I'm a sucker for a lot of motion and a lot of like pretty visuals and stuff like that mm-hmm. and like basically like mm-hmm. fireworks happening, which is what the second OP is. It has lots of people yeah. like running around and jumping and. Like that phoenix thing flying around in the night sky, and I, I, that one did more for me, honestly. Yeah, I mean, but that's just 
personal that's taste, just right? Personal taste. Personal yeah. taste. Yeah. 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 So now Jay, break the tie. Which is your favorite of the two? Uh, the first one's better. There you go. I think <laughs> the first like, one's the more iconic one for sure. Objectively, yes. the first one's better. Especially that like opening like Latin-ish chorus mm -hmm. that it does. Yeah. 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 I felt like the EDs were kind of forgettable though. I don't really. Remember I don't them. even remember the EDs. I didn't yeah. mind the ED because like it, it served its purpose of like um because we used this analogy before of like drying off after going to like a, a water park, and yep. to me it yep. felt like it did. I that. like it. Yeah. I like the second ED more. Uh, but not much happens visually in these EDs. Yeah, so that yeah. is basically the, the first based one literally on... starts on like a black screen with scrolling credits, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. yeah, the second ED, uh, the song is better. So that's kind of my tiebreaker there. Mm -hmm. there there's not much mm -hmm. uh, difference between the two. Um, what? We we kind of touched on this a little bit. Uh, the OST for this oh. show is amazing. I think here's here. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a big big thing, and you guys can push back against it, and I'm sure you will. Uh, possibly among the best OSTs in anime. I don't think you're wrong, but you're wrong. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> no I, I welcome I, I welcome it. I I don't. I don't disagree with you, honestly, but you I just disagree. can't see my, it's, it's not, it's a type of OST. You have to, it's the best OST of its type in anime. I'd say it's, the, it's, it's the not best. the type of OST where you're going out and like buying the album and listening to it. It's not making no, it on no, no. any playlists. It's nothing like that. But if somebody does that, they're a weirdo. So it, perfect, <laughs> it perfectly is like accentuating and like enhancing the show if that's, that's yeah, what the, the, if the thing i was for. the thing i was gonna say is it's the best ancient mages bride e, uh, ost and by that i mean like it it like it's the best it possibly it's perfect could for the be. show yeah. yeah 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 and you know what the interesting thing is I, I was kind of doing a little bit of like looking into the background of the show and i think this is like the guy who did the ost for this show like the sound director i think this is mm -hmm. his first time at the a first kick of them, the can like his first a lot gig. of them had their first time with this show yeah, it's yeah, kind of neat. It's like, yeah, and really they did cool. a good job at it, and it looks really good. I think yeah. that's one takeaway that I kind of, I, I realized as I was watching the show, and I've kind of like known this in the back of my head for a while, is man, I love Wit. Wit does good stuff with, they, they know, great. they yeah. get it. They know yeah. how they know to have doing. like the right amount of animation to make things look just good enough for what you need. Mm -hmm. And then also mm -hmm. have like some like Sakuga, obviously. And then yeah. also at the same time, they know all right we need to have like sound is important sound needs mm -hmm. to be good we need to oh, at least yeah. pay attention to it right and then uh, usually and they knock it out of the part and that's one thing that uh speaking of sound that i uh i really appreciated especially in the first episode was the folly work um like the footsteps yeah. sounded really good the the rattling of her chains sounded really good mm -hmm. um when when the door to their house opened it sounded like like the creaking like um sounded so good um, an interesting and, like, thing too just, is like in the like speaking of foley work when like elias like there's that bit where he's like alone in the house and it's so quiet like there's mm -hmm. it's just basically like it's silent. like a sound vacuum yeah. yeah yeah it's like the the total abs absence of sound like negative like mm -hmm. it's like negative noise yeah which is like yeah. kind of a sound a soundtrack in its own right mm -hmm. but yeah it takes like it, it sounds kind of dumb but it takes like at least you need to think about it and know what you're doing to make a soundtrack like yeah. this yeah 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 you, you strip away all of the ambient noise and stuff like that it's it's uh it's it's really good uh going back to what jay said about how the ost is the best ancient magus bride ost i really like that point that's, that's yeah that's a good that's a good take that's mm -hmm. a really good take um but you have i i think what what makes it among the best OSTs is that you t you can't take an OST as an OST in a vacuum. No, it yeah. is it is it a has, compliment to the show. Yes, yes, and it's it's a perfect OST for Ancient Magus Bride. Yeah, you know right? what you thought of. So it sorry to what? derail you. Uh, you said this is what you just said, and then I said mm -hmm. no, and it made sense. And Jay said yes, and it made sense, and we said the same thing. It's a very Canadian thing, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, saying, yeah, the use yeah. of yes and no is completely like arbitrary just arbitrary yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway sorry uh voice acting in the yes. show was also really really good now Asking the obligatory question. the obligatory question michael did you watch the sub or dub 
I watched this one 100% in dub. I didn't watch a single second of the sub. Because okay, the dub interesting. is mighty fine. And like I said with Cyberpunk Edge Runners, mm-hmm. when a show is set not in Japan, sometimes mm-hmm. I just feel the dub kind of works better. And I don't know if Here's- that's necessarily true for this one. But I'm I wonder about this because this is it's very regional, right? It takes mm-hmm. place in the UK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do they have English accents? No. Interesting. So here's my here was my question about the dub. How do they pronounce Elias's name? Elias. It, is it Elias? Okay. Yeah. Which is how you would say it. Like you, if you made a guy and you see that name written down on a piece of paper, like say Cole's at his job mm-hmm. and someone hands him a piece of identification that has that. How are you saying that name? Elias, Elias. or Elias? I don't, I don't, I don't even know. It's a weird name. Well, like, no, I I've would never... say, I would say Elias, but like, cause everyone in the sub was saying All the Elias. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Elias. Yeah. Elias. Yeah. Which is, um, and like, that I might find... just be a Japanese thing. Cause yeah. they don't have the same, uh, mm-hmm. inflections as we do. I thought uh, most yeah. of them were mostly the same, though. It was like yeah. Elias, Chise, Titania, uh, Ruth. Ruth. They're all Which, like, I think they called him Rutsu in... Uh, well, oh, okay. it's just because there's yeah. no TH sound yeah. in Japanese. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> that's one of my favorite, like, anticlimactic moments in the show is when she's, like, coming up with a new name for him, and then she just says, Ruth. Ruth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, boring name. it's like it's like it's like call my name Bob. Yeah, ruth yeah Bob. <laughs> rupert <laughs> yeah but it's like it fits. ruth like that's a that's a girl's name though I, that's just what strange. i was thinking like like it? It, like if, if they went for like a um like a uh unisex name then i'd be like okay that 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 makes sense but like mm-hmm. I, d- I don't know that many men with the name ruth I don't, I don't know, know any. anyone with the name yeah. Ruth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I only know old women named Ruth. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is probably relevant to the story. Uh, okay. Ruth is a biblical figure. She was a Moabite woman. Yeah, she. <laughs> yeah. Oh, after the death of all the male members of her family, she stays with her mother-in-law and moves Judah with her, where Ruth wins the love of a wealthy relative through her kindness. Interesting. That's hmm. one thing I liked about this show. Sorry to get off, off the... the d- voice acting stuff but mm-hmm. i loved how if they there's enough like lore going on that if you look into any of these characters there's kind of a backstory and they clearly did the research into like somewhat yeah. tying it in mm-hmm. you know what was a really cool moment in the show too was like when the priest met uh the fairy titania queen? yeah mm-hmm. yeah and she's she like says something about she's like, like how uh worshippers of of uh of the god the of god Christ who, of, or whatever yeah, they can't, who, they're not uh, allowed here, them. and she kicked them out. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's really cool. Like, yeah, yeah, like there's this like ancient, ancient, yeah, uh, supernatural beings that live in in England, and like these these like invaders, these the, uh, the Catholic monk is like this new Catholic... come invader, right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's it's cool, like the different like dynamics at work in the in kind of the world as well, and like she's not really like. I wouldn't say she's like mean to him or anything, but she's just kind of like, no, she, "Go away! I don't want you." Yeah. Here. She's almost <laughs> playful with him. Like, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. Like he's a, a even naughty after, child. Yeah. yeah, Elias is like, "What? Like, what's going to happen to him?" She's like, "Ah, oh, he'll just like wander around the woods. He'll be fine." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, it's uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Voice sub. acting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I both are good. Like both are good. Elias's voice is great in the dub. That's why every yes. time I say Chise, I have to stop and say Chise. Yeah. <laughs> he's, just, I, that... he's got that like super deep voice. So mm-hmm. which one did you watch, Cole? Oh, sorry. I sub. Sub. Okay. Sub. Yeah. I didn't watch the dub. I don't uh, even ask you because I know. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Hold on. I have a story. Uh-oh. I watched okay. one second of the dub. Then I realized I was watching the dub and went, oh, I got to switch to the sub. Is that because Cr- Crunchyroll has the show listed as like yeah. 80 seasons? No, so for whatever reason, when I try and watch shows on my Switch lately, it automatically mm. plays the dub and I have to switch it over. There's a, they recently introduced a setting. You can change your preferences. We'll talk yeah. about it off air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the voice acting's great. And uh, I really like, oh, the singing. Uh, oh, she the... says singing. Is that dubbed? No, no, it's the original. No, that's the, the original song. <clears throat> or or uh, what's his name singing? The the dragon uh, guy. All mm, all the songs mm-hmm. are the same. It's uh, 
and the voice they did a good job of matching the voice actors so like it's not mm-hmm. jarring when it goes like i actually had to like stop and be like is this japanese or is this like latin or something i can't tell mm. no i i like that because it's it's clearly a lullaby mm-hmm. that was sung to her by her mother oh yeah which mm-hmm. would yeah. be japanese yeah yeah uh, she right. is, actually yeah she is japanese She's Japanese. One yeah. thing I wanted to ask about the songs, I wanted to ask our good friend Jay, who can understand a little bit of Hebrew. Was yeah. were some of the songs in Hebrew? I was actually trying to pick up on that because, um, like, there was and... one there that definitely was not Japanese. Mm-hmm. I think when um, it was the uh, dragon guy singing. I-, I was trying to pick up on that. I'm honestly not too terribly sure, um, because I didn't like I didn't pick up on any Hebrew, but like there might have been. It just, it might be Latin, because there is kind of some crossover there, but it mm-hmm. definitely, I could tell you for sure, was not Japanese. Like yeah. But I, I was just trying to figure out what it was, and I, it just kind of like, the way the words were, it felt a little like Hebrew, and I like that. I like, because mm-hmm. he's like an ancient, uh, Elias's master yeah. there, Lindell. Yeah. Like, he's even older than Elias, and yeah. yeah, it'd be fitting that he would have his own little thing going on there, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, is there any other spoiler-free things you guys want to want to mention before we go in um uh, i'll i'll just mention i it's little things that like catch my ear and my eye uh back to like the foley thing mm-hmm. when when like elias would like close his mouth there'd be like that subtle, yes. like yes like a little clicking like, crack- noise yeah yeah, yeah. it's like ah, oh, nice like mm-hmm. that's what it would sound like if a yeah. guy who has a wolf skull for a head would yeah close his um, mouth yeah one uh, uh there was there was something i I lost oh, it. I lost uh, it. Visually as well, the show does what, uh, like, it's it's definitely like a more mature show, but it mm-hmm. it cuts to like chibi characters, which is like what Full Metal Alchemist does yeah. all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I I like that. Oh. It, it 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 kind of punctuates like you, comedic you moments. You just reminded me of that, Cole. Mm. Um, two things actually. First thing, um. So while I was watching the show, one of the things I was wondering is, did was this mangaka a um, an assistant for Full Metal Alchemist or one of her other works? Because mm-hmm. like okay. a lot of the characters look very similar um, to uh, the creator of Full Metal Alchemist or like the like chibi thing kind of. So a lot of the, was a lot of same vibes going on, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So I was I was kind of getting that like was she an assistant at some point? And I'm not sure. Um, oh, I oh, thought you, I thought you had up. the answer. No, I did. I did look it up, and I got nothing. But like, it just seems so weird that it looks so similar. But hmm. uh, yeah. and the other well, thing, if anybody knows, let us yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and another thing that I want to bring up was the world building. We kind of talked. We kind of touched on it a little bit, but a lot of the like a lot of my time was spent like trying to figure out what era they were in, like what decade. Because I think it's modern era. I, I think it is I modern era, like, but like. 2000s yeah yeah but the thing that i was very interested in is like this is like a high fantasy story for the most part that's yeah. set in the modern era with like modern technology and all that like mm-hmm. elias has a fridge and like a, a a stove and and like all these like and they look like they're from like the 30s to be fair yeah well, and it's... i think i think that's that's an important plot point is that like they say like magicians can't do anything we're not yeah. omnipresent we yeah we can only do what we can do. So, I mean, if they have access to modern technology as well, mm-hmm. they're going to they're gonna use it too. I yeah. think Why that that's cool. You? Yeah. As opposed yeah. to like Harry Potter, for example, where, yeah. like, where the like, magic world is completely separated. They don't mm-hmm. even know anything about like the modern outside world. Tech- yeah. 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 This yeah. is, I feel, a little more realistic where it'd be like, no, no, they're just going to do, they're going to still use what they can, but they mm-hmm. can do more, right? They're going to mm-hmm. use... It just makes more sense like if you're hiding, <clears> like... It's easier to hide like that rather than try to separate yourself completely. Yeah, it's, like it's, you're it, just, it, it's, it makes so much more sense to hide in plain sight, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In this case, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Since Mike. Jay brought up Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and I assume, or just Full Metal Alchemist in general, this might be a good way to end our spoiler-free section by just kind of like going over like our final thoughts and like what we would recommend this show to, and what we would recommend this show from. Like, if you liked. Well, if you like this, you probably like this show, or if you like this show, you'll probably like this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's a good idea. Um, and an interesting one, uh, maybe because the character dynamics are kind of similar, like they're two flawed people. Uh, a silent voice, maybe. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's I got the impression that. going on too. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, the one I, I kept thinking of, and like this is so you went for like if you're into like the the main interactions between the two mains, like the mm-hmm. one's depressed, one's trying to like get out of it, and blah blah blah, mm-hmm. all yeah. that going on. Where I went, I'm thinking, I kept thinking as I was watching the show more about like the I was enjoying all the lore and like world building and how it like delved mm-hmm. into all these like mythical creatures and stuff like that and i couldn't help but think of a show called mushishi i don't Mm -hmm. know if either of you guys have watched it but the whole premise of that show is kind of the same like uh there's like a guy he goes around it's very episodic and he just kind of goes around and solves problems caused by spiritual spiritual things and like entities and their onis or whatever in that show but and it's just very like the same kind of like serene kind of surreal at the same time peaceful but not peaceful kind of like there's dark stuff bubbling below the sur- like the surface of this like relatively calm pool type vibes mm-hmm. and I-, I couldn't help but think of that, like, that a lot of the time of this show but when jay said full metal alchemist that also struck yeah. a chord too for sure yeah 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 uh i mean this is clearly like an allegory for like beauty and the beast as well okay mm-hmm. yeah if you want to if you want to get a non-anime thing definitely took it ins- i'd say probably took inspiration from it for sure Mm-hmm. Yeah, or like definitely. even just like classic fairy tales, I'd say. Oh, hundred like, percent. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Like yeah. that's definitely a huge influence on this. Well, and like Titania, ancient English. Titania and Oberon are—they're not actually like mythical creatures. They're from they're Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, it definitely takes inspiration from like English mythology and and mm-hmm. stuff, which and, a lot of people don't remember. Is like England itself has like ancient ancient, ancient mythology history. as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the uh the celtic stuff right mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like one like a exa- good example of that too is also cartophilus like mm-hmm. it, we're not gonna go Biblical into spoilers stuff. about him but he yeah. was the reason why he is the way he is is because cartophilus has, in biblical terms is the guy who he was like basically mean to jesus when he was on the cross so he's cursed mm-hmm. to be in pain forever or whatever right mm-hmm. yeah it's yeah. just it's it's interesting that they put a lot of thought into it mm-hmm. anything else yeah. you guys could think of uh, the one, uh, the one that I thought of for like a, a recommendation, um, was, and this might be a bit apropos considering the person, uh, who this would relate to, but March comes in like a lion. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Just cause like of the, uh, the main character and what they're going through, mm-hmm. um, and just kind of like yeah. sad, sad person learning to, uh, love themselves, accept themselves, that kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's a really good one. Yeah. 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 I really like that show. <laughs> I know. You-, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know the show that you do also like that I think people who enjoy this show would also enjoy. Hmm. I think Maiden Abyss. It's yeah. it's weird. Yeah. It's not quite the same, but I think it's the same energy. If that makes sense. Yeah, kind of mysterious things going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I like that. Maiden Someone Abyss dealing- is a bit more extreme. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely not the same and like this show like, like let's, let's not dance around it like it definitely has questionable stuff that happens right oh yes yeah yeah Which we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about that i think in section. the plot yeah 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 yeah, uh, yeah uh i mean if you if you like shows that oh. i like i think we say that all the time in reviews if you like mm-hmm. shows that cole likes you're gonna like this show for sure yeah i think uh this is just another add it to the list if if you identify with shows that i enjoy you're probably going to really like this show as well. Mm-hmm. I would go so far as to say that I think all, there's something for almost anyone here in this show, except for like, if you only like shonen action stuff, you're not going to like yeah. this, but yeah, other, yeah I this think, definitely isn't a shonen yeah. battle show. Yeah. 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 But the people who only watch like Naruto and stuff aren't watching this show anyway. No. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a pointless recommendation there, but I think almost anybody would enjoy this show and honestly i think like, it's worth yeah, a watch i think it's yeah. worth at least checking out at what, at what yeah. point would you say if you're not into it could you drop it i'd say about a halfway point i kind of uh, agree. i'd even say episode three like episode yeah. three is the one that like it took a bring, while for me to get for, into it i forgot that like there was such a heavy plot point in episode three and like that's early and if that plot point doesn't really hit you then yeah you're not you're not really it's not going to yeah, so, yeah i much. think i think there is one uh there is one storyline that we'll talk about more in the spoilers that i think mm-hmm. if you didn't like that storyline that'll probably be where and it it was before the halfway point so yeah um yeah, yeah but well I, I think that was episode six okay 
Yeah, like I, I hate to do the three episode rule, but I think in this yeah. case, yeah, three episodes would probably. I'd be... give it six. I think. I, yeah, I, the I, first three episodes I felt didn't do a great job of selling the story to me. It, yeah, and Shazana really, said the same I, thing I, when we were watching. I wasn't, I wasn't really hooked by episode three, but episode six was when I was like, okay, I'm, I'm here, I'm interested. Yeah. Okay, I'm curious. Yeah, I'm curious what, like, plot point that was for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh,